Did you know that Bible reading and Bible study are two completely different things? If you've been hanging out at my channel for very long, you've probably heard me talk about this before, and you'll probably hear me talk about it again. I feel like this is one of the most important concepts to grasp around your Bible time to help you really engage with God's Word. Today, we're going to talk about how to balance Bible reading and Bible study in your Bible time so that you can get the most out of each one. My name is Eva Kabashik and I am your Bible study best friend. I want to help you learn how to study the Bible so that you can have a deeper, more fulfilling relationship with God. So Bible reading and Bible study. Let's talk about the differences really quick. Bible reading is where you're going to read larger passages of scripture to get the overall like picture of scripture. Whereas Bible study, you're going to take smaller passages of scripture, a chapter or less at a time, and you're going to really dig deep for the meaning and what that passage is doing inside of that overarching context. And so you can see that you really do need both. You need to know the overarching concept, but it's also so important to dig deep and see what each individual passage is doing in context. When it comes to building up your Bible knowledge or figuring out how to incorporate each of these into your Bible routine, it can be a little tricky. I don't know if this has happened to you or not, but when it comes to my own personal Bible reading and Bible study time, I want it to happen right now. But that's not really how it works. We have to take slow, consistent effort, slow, consistent time in God's word over the course of years, really, in order to grasp the depth and the richness. And then, even then, by the time we finish our life here on earth, we still won't have grasped how amazing God's word is. We will never get to the bottom of it. And so I think that that's one reason why it's great to just take your time. Like, we don't have to rush through this. We don't have to know everything right away. But instead, we can take our time getting to know who God is intimately through his word. So how are we going to balance the two? Well, I think that reading through the Bible really helps you understand Bible study more so in the very beginning, I would say prioritize Bible reading. If you are a believer and you have never read through the entire Bible, that's a great place to start. It can be a little intimidating to read through the entire Bible. I, I get that, I really do. I was a believer for about 10 years before I read through the entire Bible. It's intimidating, it can be confusing. And to be honest, I read through the entire Bible like four times before I think I actually understood what I was reading. But that process of reading through the entire Bible is so important. And I think that God honors that even if we don't understand it, even if we do still get a little confused by it. The Bible says that we have the mind of Christ and the Bible says that the Holy Spirit will remind us of these truths. We can't be reminded of something if we've never read it before. It's so important to have that first Bible read through under your belt. So if you have never read through the entire Bible, prioritize a Bible reading plan that helps you read through the entire Bible. I really love a chronological plan for the Old Testament, but the New Testament, I actually like to just go in order that the books are. If you'd like a video on why I love chronological Bible reading plans, just type chronological in the comments and I would love to answer that for you in a video if that's something that you're interested in. Okay, so if you have read through the entire Bible and you want to maybe go deeper in certain sections, this is a great time to incorporate Bible study. This is where you're going to go through a process of asking some questions about the text to uncover deeper meanings. You may have seen my simple Bible study journal, which the link for that is in the description, 
or you may have seen the study with me videos. I've got a whole series on Philippians on my channel. Those resources are really geared towards teaching you how to study the Bible for yourself. It's a repeatable process that you can apply to any passage of scripture that's going to help you understand what that passage is saying about God. At the core of Bible study, you are looking for what scripture is teaching you about who God is. The entire Bible is a book about God, and whenever we are studying the Bible, we are getting to know who God is on a more intimate level. Check out those resources if you want to learn more about Bible study. So here's how I do my own personal Bible reading and Bible study and how I incorporate those into my week, but it's not necessarily how I do it. It's finding a system that works well for you. In the morning, when it comes time for my Bible reading time, that's exactly what I do. I read. I read maybe two to three chapters, and I write just a few sentences about what I read. Nothing deep, nothing like crazy, but what I am doing is I am connecting with God, and I am initiating a conversation with him based on what I read. And so sometimes I'll write down a verse that stands out, different things like that, but I just want to make a quick note about what I read. After that, if I have time, then I will do some Bible study. It really is about the time available to you and what you are able to do in that time. Here are a few other ways that you can incorporate both Bible reading and Bible study into your routine that are a little more flexible depending on what you're looking for. The first one is you could listen to the Bible and read it that way, whereas your actual sit down Bible study time then becomes where you're studying. Did you know that like they didn't have physical copies of the Bible whenever these like letters were written and these like scrolls were written? People would hear it like people would gather together and listen to it being read. And so I think we sometimes get this idea in our minds that listening to the Bible doesn't count as much as like eyes on the page reading, but that's not true. Listening is just as valuable as that physical reading of the Bible. And so if you wanted to incorporate both, you could listen to the Bible as you're driving to work, as you are doing the dishes, as you are going on a walk or at the gym. There's so many different ways that you can incorporate listening to the Bible and then spending that in-depth Bible study time when you have time to actually open up your Bible. The next way you can do it is alternating days say you know maybe one day you're going to read the next day you're going to study next day you're going to read next day you're going to study that could work for you or maybe alternating seasons for three months i'm going to follow a bible reading plan through a passage or through a chunk of scripture maybe in the new testament the new testament is a great place to start and a three month New Testament plan is very doable. The next thing you could do is a longer season and say, you know what? I'm going to dedicate the first six months of the year to reading through the Bible. And then I'm going to spend the last six months of the year answering the questions that I had when I was reading through the Bible. Now that is going to be a more intense Bible reading plan because you're going to be reading probably six to eight chapters of the Bible a day, but that's still only like 25 minutes a day. You can do that. You really can. I promise that you can do that. And then this is one, the last one that I've got. This is the one that I have used most commonly in my life. And that has been, I read through the Bible every day. Not the entire Bible. I read on my Bible reading plan every day. But then I choose one or two days a week where I have longer sit down time and I prioritize Bible study in those times. So my Bible reading time becomes my consistent everyday conversation that I'm having with God, whereas my Bible study time then becomes that deeper focused time once or twice a week. Now, when it comes to Bible study, there's four mistakes that are super easy to make 
And I would love it if you would check out this video and watch it and see if you are making any of these four mistakes in your Bible study time and see how you can solve each of those problems.